Well, Scott, the Orioles offense has really been clicking to start this 2016 season off. I mean, really top to bottom, but there have been some you know, instabilities. Guys have already gone through some ups and downs. Let's talk a little bit about how you try to get guys out of those prolonged slumps. Maybe some uh, some drills you incorporate. Well, I, I think the first thing is is you got to build that trust with them. And that starts in spring training, and of course, oh, being here the second year, I've started to build a little trust with a lot of the guys. And you know, when these guys hit adversity throughout the year, like you said, there's things that you see that are kind of. Uh, you know, simple trigger points that get them back into the groove again. And, and for instance, a guy like Scope yesterday, you know, got a couple hits on the breaking ball, and he kind of was out in front, speeding himself up a little bit. So yesterday we had some early work, got on the curveball machine just to create a feel, staying behind the ball, and um, you know, get, gaining that trust within himself again in the box. And so it was good to see him, you know, kind of take that into the game yesterday. Um, you know, CD the same way. He got on the breaking ball machine, you know, he'd been pitched around a little bit and, um, you know, he didn't understand where he was at because he wanted to swing and, you know, he gets four hits yesterday. So it's not something that I'm doing personally. I think it's just getting those guys in a frame of mind when they get in a box, they're comfortable again. And, you know, that's the main thing with any of these guys when they go through adversity. So there are mechanical flaws, but there are also mental flaws that you kind of have to support as well. So, you know, along with the drills, I mean, there's obviously that positive feedback that's incorporated. I think uh, you, along with the other coaching coaches, are more uh, psychologists at times than actual instructors. I think the, the hardest thing for any coach is the, the fact that, you know, when you say the mental side of it, mentally they get themselves out of whack physically. And you can only do so much physically for them. You see the stuff on video, you go through the drills, you do some things for them, but until they feel comfortable mentally, you know, then that really doesn't come out in the game. And it's so hard to go to that side of it because you don't know what kind of emotions going in their mind. Whether it's maybe the umpire made a bad call or they missed their pitch or they're trying to hit the ball too far. Or, you know, they hear something in the crowd noise or something behind the scenes some, that you really trying to get them back in the zone again. So it's a constant battle from the mental and the physical side of it. But anytime you can get them to feel relaxed and encourage them, make them have feel like they have fun again. That's the whole key. And the same thing with Flaherty. You know, the other day we had the, you know, the wiffle ball bat. You know, you go back to the days of playing wiffle ball when you were a kid, but I kind of brought out the wiffle ball bat for a drill for him to, you know, for the spine alignment. And I think that's a huge thing. But we just try to get them to feel something so they can go be comfortable in the box. So when you say spine alignment, you know, a lot of the Orioles hitters really stay tall in the box, and it looks like they have a solid foundation underneath them. Um, tell us about when a spine alignment breaks down. What, what are you looking at? Well, uh, what we're looking at is the upper body, of course, because that's the spine, and, and we want our both eyes to be able to see the ball and, and see the release point. And when guys get hunched over, they're looking from the side of their face, and when they get in their loading position, when they get in their hitting position separation, they, uh, they get hunched over even more, almost like a turtle. And so, you know, a turtle shell, and we don't want that because the first move is coming out. We want to eliminate the shoulders and the swing. So to create relaxation in the box, being able to keep both eyes on the ball, you've got to keep your upper body erect so your head can turn because anytime your your head's your body's leaned over your head is tied to your spine obviously and it makes it cringe and you know make gets tension in the swing and uh, you know that was just some of the drills that we've used we've used them for weeders we used it for Davis and now Flaherty's kind of been my new victim and uh, you know it goes back to just seeing tape and it and it's all it's nothing special it's just creating that feel of the game where they feel comfortable in the box and they feel like they can take their hands to the ball and be able to manipulate the bat wherever the ball's pitched. Well, it's definitely worked out this year. Uh, Orioles offense, best in the business right now. And driving in runs with uh, runners in scoring position, hitting high for average, drawing walks uh, better than we've ever seen before, and picking up some big two-out hits. Uh, tell us about that approach. Well, I think it's a credit to the guys in spring training. You know, we had a meeting at the very start of spring training and they said, what do we want to do about our offense? You know, we have some very big strengths that no other ball clubs in the league have, and that's the power aspect of it. But we know these teams are just not going to keep coming at us and, and let us utilize our power. We're going to have to force the issue a little bit and be more disciplined at the plate and getting balls up in the zone that we can drive. And it just kind of started in spring training. You know, when guys like Chris Davis, you see, are already buying into 
Barrett and Adam Jones last night with three walks. And, you know, the guys are passing the baton and they're they're letting the pitcher force them to throw a good pitch to them. And good things are happening. And, you know, it, it was it was started a little bit last year towards the end of the year where we saw, you know, guys like Chris Davis, Manny Machado, all those guys started getting creating more walks, more on base, and good things were happening. And I think it's just a carryover this year and it's a credit to the players. I mean, they bought in and so far this year, knock on wood, they've been they've been doing a good job of it. Well, Scott Coolball definitely has this offense going in the right direction.